My name is Janine Vélez. I work at the University of Puerto Rico and I'm the curator of the Mayagüez Herbarium. I'm currently focusing on endangered plants. I help agencies such as federal agencies and local agencies uh, to see which is the status of some of the endangered local plants. I became a botanist just by chance. I was, I entered the university, I wanted to be a uh, medical te uh, technology. So, but I have, I had to take the botany class and I, I at first it was a new sense because I didn't want to take botany. Uh, but after that, I discovered that it was great. It was a passion. I started taking other classes in botany and went uh, getting out on the field and it just, Grab me. I think I've been blessed uh, being able to work in what I love and being able to go out in the field very often. That's really a highlight. I think I've been in a lot of places that a lot of people have never been able to go. And getting to see a, a threatened, endangered plant in the wild is really something very unique. Actually, my, my favorite plant find was about a month ago. We were out on the field and we stomped in this big, huge trunk. And actually, it was a liana about this big, which is a new record for Puerto Rico. So it was quite interesting because it was very near uh, a local common area, recreational area. So you can still find interesting things in Puerto Rico. We do have a lot of challenges being, being a botanist, uh, even a, a plant taxonomy uh, today. The world is moving into more specialized uh, fields, uh, like for example, molecular biology. But we cannot forget that uh, taxonomy, basic botany is still important. Um, so it's, it's so sometimes it's quite difficult to get funding for basic research. But that basic research is extremely important to other more specialized researchers. So, so I think that's one of the biggest challenges that I face and other botanists, taxonomists face. Climate change has a lot of impact in animals, plants all over the world. For example, if you have uh, plants that have limited distribution, uh, climate change is something that definitely is going to affect the distribution of those plants. The loss of plants really impact biodiversity. If you lose a plant, probably you're losing um, the habitat for an uh, insect or probably the food for an animal, probably a bird. So you are impacting the whole food change. And at the end, it's going to impact us too.